Come on behind the plaques with us here at the Hall of Fame. I'm Craig Muter, Director of Communications for the Baseball Hall of Fame. With me, our Director of Research, Tim Wiles. And we're talking about a very special Hall of Famer today, Ray Dandridge, one of only 15 third basemen enshrined in the Hall of Fame. And this was a guy who set the standard for play at the hot corner throughout the 40s and 50s. Absolutely. In the Negro Leagues, he was one of the premier third basemen of all time. And uh, certainly for his 16 seasons beginning in 1933, he was the man at third base. Why didn't he make it to the major leagues? He was, his end of his career was coming right when Jackie Robinson was de debuting the majors. Well, um, there was the question of his age. Uh, when he was sold by the New York Cubans to the Minneapolis Millers of the American Association in 1949, he said that he was 29 and others thought that maybe he was 36. Now he played four seasons in Minneapolis and they were spectacular. He was the American Association uh, Rookie of the Year in 1949. He was the MVP of the league in 1950. He was a consistent 300 hitter at this high level of minor league baseball as he had been in the Negro Leagues. So uh, speculation of three reasons why he might have stayed in Minneapolis instead of going to the parent club, the New York Giants. Those reasons are that uh, he was very popular in Minneapolis that perhaps he was a little bit older than uh, he might have reported. And also some have speculated that there were informal quotas in the major leagues. And of course the Giants already had African American players in Monty Irvin and Willie Mays also uh, both in the Hall of Fame. So uh, Ray Dandridge didn't make it up for whatever reason, but it probably among those three reasons that you need to look at. And missing out in the major leagues really didn't tarnish his legacy at all. We've, other Hall of Famers said this was one of the top third basemen ever to play the game. Absolutely. My favorite quote is from Cumberland Posey, also a Hall of Fame Negro League executive, and he said there never was a smoother functioning master at third base than Dandridge, and he could hit that apple too. I love going behind the plaques. Thanks so much, Tim. Check us out online at baseballhall.org or come and visit us right here in Cooperstown, New York.